Hello. This eulogy is dedicated to someone who is so close to my heart. Someone that was loved by so many who passed away not that long ago. This eulogy is to Wilbur, my beloved Boston Terrier. Wilbur, 7110 to 3522. Wilbur was my second Boston Terrier. Wilbur was born on July 1st, 2010 in Canterbury, Connecticut. He passed away on March 5th, 2022 after a long battle with a large tumor, being anemic and being diabetic. <coughs> Excuse me. Unfortunately, we had to make the worst decision that no pet parent ever wants to make, and that is to put him to sleep and put him out of his misery. Let me tell you about Boston Terriers, and specifically mine for the past 11 and a half years. Wilbur's personality and day-to-day -day life with him. Boston Terriers are great dogs for people on the spectrum like myself, and are great companions. Wilbur was an amazing dog, and one who knew what was happening. Before he got sick, Wilbur would greet you at the door. In my younger years, went out to the bus stop in the morning and afternoon. As with most dogs, not just Boston, but the dogs in general, Wilbur knew certain words or phrases. For example, ride, go see grandma, or who's here. The who's here was when dad got home from work in the afternoon. He heard his truck pulling up the driveway. He was also quite a retriever when playing catch until your arm was tired. He never got enough of playing fetch, and he didn't like to get up his ball either. I would always joke with the instructor, saying that they had another student. So you needed something to distract him, uh, either uh, from his ball, such as a stick, or you would need a tube. I'm sorry. Sorry, I lost my place. He didn't like to, <clears throat> excuse me. He didn't like to give up his ball, so you had to have two balls to play with it, or something to distract him from it, such as a stick. I always joked with the instructor, saying that they had another student, the four-legged variety, that is. That was when we were under lock and key, or when we started doing the L Ron format. That, this was through the fall semester of 2020, leading up to his passing early last semester. He loved going to class. Boston Terriers in general. The average lifespan for a Boston is about 10 to 15 years, depending on their health and gender. Wilbur lived that span of time. The Boston Terrier is known as the American Gentleman and are in the non-sporting group, according to the American Kennel Club. They are known for being highly intelligent, their lively personalities, and very strong will, which Wilbur was. In conclusion, Wilbur will forever be in my heart and memory. His spirit will always live on in my fond memories. And like I said at the top, Wilbur was loved by so many, not only in the family, but in the community as well. A new Boston is on the way. And we'll begin the journey with these smart, friendly, and lovable little dogs all over again. And thanks for listening.